even a doll can be a class clown or a teacher's pet. She goes to her doll school and sits at a real desk. Watch our new video to learn ideas to make your doll's school life a little sweeter. Welcome to school! We've got a new student today! Rachel is a rock star, a rebel, and a troublemaker. She looks like she skips all her classes and rides a motorcycle to school. Her only weakness is her beloved Barbie doll, who didn't want to be just a little housewife either. Let's turn an elegant doll in a pink dress into a cool troublemaker. Cut a strip of checked fabric. Make folds on half of the fabric and secure them with hot glue. Glue a ribbon to the waistband. Put the skirt on the doll and tie the waistband. Make a vest out of a small sample of leather. Cut two openings for the doll's arms. Put it on the doll and close it with a safety pin. Glue metallic stars onto the collar. Paint the doll's pink shoes with black and silver nail polish. Cut her hair in a stylish bob. Separate a few strands and color them with pastel. Draw on eyebrows with a marker and glue on a mini rhinestone as a nose piercing. Troublemaker Barbie looks stylish and cool. Instead of paying attention in class, Rachel is adjusting her doll's outfit. Why did she even come to school in the first place? Christy is completely different. She's a straight-A student down to her core. But she's also got a doll hidden in her purse. Just like her owner, the doll is smart and follows the rules. Cut a trapezoid out of denim. Cut up some Velcro and glue the pieces along the edges. Make straps out of two thin strips of denim and sew them to the outfit. Dress up your doll. Brush her hair and weave a neat French braid. Tie it with a ribbon. Rub her long eyelashes with nail polish remover. Use a Q-tip. The doll even has glasses just like her owner's. Shape round glasses out of black wire. You can use a round pen or something similar to make things easier. Make the arms. Trim the excess. Put the glasses on the doll. The smart doll is a perfect representation for Christy. And not for nothing, they really look alike. Both students found themselves in their dolls. I wonder, will the Smarty Pants doll and the Rebel doll be able to sit at the same desk without fighting? The dolls want to learn too! Go ahead, sit at the desk with your owners! But that's not going to work! This desk is way too big for the doll's small arms. Then Christy gets a brilliant idea. She'll make a toy desk for her beloved doll. Use a hot knife to cut off a hook from a plastic organizer. Coat the piece with acrylic paint. Color the sides with a different color. Use a heated awl to poke four openings for the desk legs. Cut up some wooden skewers. Put them into the openings and connect them with two perpendicular sticks crossed over to make the structure more secure. Rachel doesn't like this. Are you for real? Even dolls have to sit at regular desks just like the ones we have? I guess it's time to learn! Lesson 1 – How to Seat Your Dolls Comfortably Let's try a few different methods. On the desk, near the desk, under the desk, far away from the desk. Nope, that's not working. Rachel shows off her inventiveness. This box of thumbtacks looks very comfortable. Fold the chair frame out of a wire. Empty out a container of thumbtacks. 
Remove the label. Use a hot knife to make cuts on the sides that are the width of the frame. Color the frame and the container with acrylic paints. Attach the container onto the frame. Make a back for the chair out of the lid. Secure it with hot glue. The chairs are done! Now the dolls can comfortably sit at their desks. But Rebel Rachel, as usual, gets tired of this boring class in just a few minutes. Her soul craves freedom. Hmm, what can I get up to instead? But genius Christy never gets tired of classes. Especially not if they're happening in our sweet school for dolls. But the troublemaker is causing a huge commotion in our classroom. She brought a slingshot to school with her. Oh jeez. Help me, spirits of education! As punishment for her bad behavior, Rachel gets turned into a doll. A toy slingshot isn't so dangerous. Bend a slingshot shape out of a wire using pliers. Bend the ends. Stretch a thin rubber band onto it. Pinch the ends with the wire. Make the body of the slingshot more 3D using hot glue. Cover it with brown acrylic paint and glue a small piece of leather to the rubber band. Christy protects her friend. We'd better stop this doll revolution before it gets any worse. Christy takes the slingshot away and puts Rachel the doll in her place. Big mistake! Touching the cursed slingshot made Christy turn into her doll too. Hello, plastic world! Time for class! Christy, like the good student that she is, takes out her doll pencil case with all her mini school supplies inside. Cut a razor case open with a heated knife. Trim the front and back. Glue a small pencil case. Close it with decorative tape. Slice through the tape so the case will be able to open. Trim the cotton off of Q-tips. Remove the lead from a pencil. Put it into sticks. Cut a mini eraser out of a regular one. Trim off a small piece of a plastic folder. Use a permanent marker to draw ruler hatch marks. Place all the mini school supplies into the tiny pencil case. All my school supplies for my doll's education are ready to go. The dolls lay out pencils, a ruler, and an eraser on the desk. Now we're going to have to study what we've learned so far. Let's take out our notebooks and start taking notes. We have to become the best students in school. Their determination and good intentions turn the dolls back into real girls. Now that they're back in their own bodies, the girls want to make their dolls' school lives a little better. It seems like there's something missing from their desk. Hmm, what gift can we give them? None of these school supplies appeal to Rachel. It's all so boring. But Christy found a globe in the corner. This is really useful for learning. All they have to do is make it a little smaller. Poke an opening in a ping pong ball with a heated up ball. Put in a wooden skewer and coat the ball with the light blue acrylic paint. When it dries, paint on continents and details like a real globe has. Trim the end of the skewer. Paint it white. Take off a silicone suction cup. Poke through it with a hot awl. Trim the skewer and put the globe onto its stand. Color the stand white. Make an arc out of white wire and attach it to the globe. This tiny globe, created by magic, 
somehow managed to impress even cold-hearted Rachel. That's amazing! Knowledge is power, and our beloved dolls can study geography. Let's see, where's Barbie Land located? Christy's committed to making good grades, and she reminds us all that school is for studying. But Rachel disagrees. She dislikes studying, and she hates know-it-alls. So she seals Christy's notebook with tape. Now let's see you try and learn, smarty pants. Christy sees the sealed notebook. This must be her neighbor's doing. But Rachel's acting like she had nothing to do with this. How could she have taped this notebook shut if the tape turned into a small accessory for the dolls to use? Empty out a container of dental floss. Mark an oval groove and cut it out with a hot knife. Coat the case with acrylic paint. Trim off a piece from a marker cap. Get a small piece of clear tape and wind it onto the marker cap bobbin. Put the mini tape into the case. Attach the end like a real tape dispenser. Decorate it with stars and place the tape onto the desk. It's so tiny and cute that Christy forgets all about her troubles. The school life of dolls is much more interesting than hers. Let's give the doll's desk some light. How about using Christmas lights? No, that's too much. Maybe a regular desk lamp will do the trick. Just as long as it's doll size. Take broken earbuds. Remove the rubber earpiece and take out the speaker. Trim the excess. Make a cut and remove the wire. Put a thin wire inside instead and bend it slightly. Trim off part of an eraser and place the earbud inside like a lamp on a stand. Glue a shiny rhinestone into the earbud. Also attach a rhinestone as an on-off switch. What a beautiful lamp! It fits perfectly on the desk, and now the doll's eyes won't be ruined by low lighting. Everybody else at this doll school should be proud of students like these. Did you like our ideas for making your doll's school life better? Then write in the comments about which ones you'll use for your toys. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click on the bell so you don't miss new doll ideas on Troom Troom.